What's up guys, it's Fun for True here, back with another video and today I'm doing a short tutorial video for how to make your headphones sound a lot better outside the box. And for this example, I'm trying to improve the sound stage of the Razer Kraken Pro Neon. And the reason being is that out of the box, these headphones were so bassy that the mids and highs sounded really warm and muddled that I thought I had to return them because it was not to my liking whatsoever. But fortunately, it came with the Razer Surround Pro EQ software and there's a free version as well on the Razer website and I'll be sure to leave a link down below in the description for you guys. So let's not waste any time, let's get right to it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Razer website and download the software. In this case, this is the free edition. And during my example, I'll be using the pro edition that came with these headset. And everything should work the same. So once you've finished downloading the software, you can exit out or minimize the window and go ahead and open up the Razer Surround software. And you'll be greeted with this window. You can calibrate your headphones now or later for this purposes, I won't do that. Just go to the settings page and make sure the Razer Surround is on. If it's off, just click here to turn it on. And right now it's optimized for just your basic stereo headphones. So if you don't have any Razer headphones, regular headphone works just fine. But in my case, I'll be switching over to the Razer Kraken Pro. And once you do that, just go to enhancement and uh, all of this are usually turned on. I turned some of them off because I forgot to reset them. But for the best sound quality when it comes to gaming and uh, listening to videos or podcasts, you actually really just want to turn all this off. And again, sound is subjective. You just have to customize it to your liking. For me, the headphones right now are just too bassy that I have to take away some of the bass. So next, just go to the EQ and go under custom. There's a whole bunch of different settings, but it's best to just create your own so you can customize it the way you want it. So this is how I have my levels set to when I'm gaming because this setup gives the headphone a more balanced sound and it feels closer to a studio monitor per se as it can be but still having a little kick in the low end. So at 16 kilohertz, it is set at 5. Sometimes I set it to 7 um, but for general use purposes 5 should be good enough. At 8 kilohertz, 3. 4 kilohertz is 3 again, 2 kilohertz is 2, 1 kilohertz is 2, and the last 3 here are set to negative 2, and sometimes I set it to negative 3 if I'm playing a game that's very heavy on the bass or low end, like any FPS like CSGO or Overwatch, because the gunfire and explosion really muffles out any chances of hearing footsteps behind you or even how far the gunfire away is. So this setting right here is mostly optimized for gaming where you can hear a more immersive sound without sacrificing the mids and highs. If you want to listen to podcasts or watch videos, I actually just click this one and set the bass boost to uh, 80 to 75 and the reason being is that it gives it a nice uh, warmer tone but still sounds natural if that makes sense because with the Razer Kraken Pro Neons these headphones already have a natural sounding bass to it already within the drivers and in my next video, I'll be sure to leave a full review of these headphones and tell you why I love these headphones. And at the same time, feel like they are kind of overhyped 
because of the Razer name. So be sure to subscribe down below if you guys want to stay up to date. Alrighty guys, that about does it. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Just like if you didn't and leave a comment down below if you guys want to see more technical or tutorial videos like these. And for more fun content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. I'm Fun for Chew. I'll catch you next one. Bye!